Alrighty guys, how are you doing? I have finally made a big change here with my cell phone service and it's still fresh but I got here into Salt Lake City and went straight into a Verizon wireless store and when he said how can I help you I said well I'm very unsatisfied with Sprint and by the way, this is the last time I'm going to say anything bad about Sprint unless somebody asks me directly. But I said, uh, here's what I'm paying, here's what I got. Uh, I want your guys' network, and this is what I want. Uh, what can you do for me? So, <clears throat> in the end, I was in and out in about a, an hour and a half, I guess it took total. Um, there's a couple things that I wasn't quite expecting. First of all... I can't transfer my brand new, pretty much, it's only five, six months old, iPhone 6 from Sprint over to Verizon. So, just can't be done. It's a different card, SIM, whatever is going on inside, you can't do it. I guess a lot of people knew that, but I, I didn't know that. But that's okay because they had another program where it's like uh, Verizon Edge, where you basically, you're paying, for, you, don't, you don't get into a two year contract, you're basically paying for it on a monthly basis and you're still eligible for the upgrades after a year and a half, so under two years. Uh, so I'm not under a two-year contract with Verizon. Wait a minute, time out. I'm not in a two-year contract with the iPhone plan. And yes, I got a new cover. I went with the OtterBox because I really like these and I want to keep it safe. There's something on the lens, okay? So there's no two-year contract with this, but there is with this. So basically the same thing. I had the same iPhone. It's the 64 gigabyte uh, space gray iPhone 6 regular. And then this is the upgraded MiFi device through Verizon, which is the, just the Jetpack 4G LTE. It's thicker. It's got a much bigger battery. You can also charge your phone off of this. If your phone's dead, you can plug it into a USB port and charge your iPhone with it. Um, the main reason why I upgraded this one instead of the one that's free through Verizon is because this one will give you internet with any kind of service that you get. So if you get somewhere where you don't have Verizon LTE 4G, you can still use it on 3G. You absolutely cannot do that on the Sprint network. When you buy the other MiFi, one of these that I had, anything with 3G, no internet. It only read Sprint LTE 4G. Uh, as far as what plan I got, the exact same. 30 gigs a month because that's my comfort zone that's what I know I use I know I can upload all of my videos and deal with all of my data on 30 gigabytes a month I'm very extremely happy with it I mean it's just it's, it's just gonna work for me a lot better and time will tell yes I'm excited as now as I was back in December when I was talking about sprint and everything I did then but this is different this is actually gonna be a lot more reliable um, what I'm paying is more. I'm paying more for it. I'm actually paying more than a hundred dollars. Boy, there's a lot of stuff in the air. I'm paying more than a hundred dollars on Verizon than I was with Sprint. But here's the problem. No matter what I was spending on Sprint, it was completely useless. Almost always completely useless. I couldn't go to the remote places and upload my videos because as soon as I get away from where I had free Wi-Fi at Starbucks, I get away from those cities, I don't, I can't even use the stuff that I'm paying for. So it was useless. Believe me, there, I think you get to a certain point where you have to put aside price and you have to say, how do I get it done? How is it just, how do I physically even get it done right now? And then we can talk about what the actual cost is going to be and everything. So that's where I'm at right now. I've got what I need. I'm going to try it out. I'm really excited, really pumped about Verizon. Second thing I want to talk about is my comfort here in the van, something that I haven't really expressed too much, but sitting here at the edge of the bed and working on my videos and, and everything else that I'm doing has just created some back problems for me, some lower back problems. Well, you would think it's back problems because there's no support, but really what it was was neck problems. So whatever was going on down here was really hurting the back of my neck, working on the computer, watching TV, sitting here was just a, a terrible idea. And I finally realized what it is that I, I, I lack here at the bed, and that is back support. 
It's just there, there never was anything. And I, I'm gonna show you what I'm using right now in a second, but there never was back support. There was never anything back here helping me. It was always, you know, my own body, you know, twisting the back and keeping it comfortable. And it was just, I mean, 15 minutes and oh, neck, my back, everything was just killing me in the van. So what I did was I got this at Cabela's. This is what they call a stadium chair. It folds flat. I mean, it's really easy to store. It opens up. You can adjust it to how much support you want. And as soon as you sit on it, it has, well, let me show you, it has the back. So I'm always supported. Um, and like I said, it's I can bring it anywhere. I can bring it outside the van. I can put it, I can put it down there on the floor if I got my feet out the van or something and it packs away easily. This was um, at Cabela's for under 20 bucks. You'd probably get them at Walmart for probably 11, but uh, just better quality and, and already here on day two, uh, it just feels so much better to actually have some back support and have a portable seat here that, you know, without getting one of those really big cushion ones, those big fluffy cushions with the armrests, because I wouldn't, it just wouldn't fit in here well. And this, this works for me really well. I am in Salt Lake City. This is my last two days in Utah before I head into Idaho. All right, y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.